Good day, everyone. My name is Dan Sihui, matching number 263294. I'm going to answer a few questions from the case study of Elon Musk's big bits that are assigned to us. Now, I would like to answer the first question, which is, as a board member of Tesla, would you have voted for or against the merger with Solar City? Why? The answer for the first question is, yes, as a board member of Tesla, I will vote for the merger with Solar City. Although as a part of this merger, Tesla will acquire Solar City $3 million in debt, and it is burning through cash, but more than half of Solar City debt is project financing. This debt is non recourse and is more than offset by the cash flow from customer payments. Other than that, the merger of Tesla and Solar City can bring a major financial benefit to us as adding an estimated half a million in cash to Tesla balance sheet over the next three years. These cash are generated by combining assets, as sales and marketing, and lower corporate and overhead savings. The main reason why I support Elon Musk is because of both of the company has a strong and close business relationship and for Tesla, solar is extremely important for their electric car and batteries. As a board member of Tesla, I should follow Tesla's mission which is to solve the environmental problem of getting energy from combustion of fossil fuel by accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. Besides that, Elemus has been planning on getting into the solar, solar business for a long time as, as Mus wrote in his original master plan in 2006, he says that he always looking for an alternative solution which is sustainable to replace the mine and burn hydrocarbon energy. Tesla acquisition of solar city will enable Tesla to transform into a truly integrated sustainable energy company capable of developing, producing, selling, installing, and servicing the product in the most, in the most seamless way. Next, I would like to answer the second question, which is, assess MERS strategy to build the Gigafactory. What are the pros and cons of building the largest factory in the world for batteries? The pro of Musk's strategy to build the largest factory, factory, Giga factory, in the world for battery is allowed to reduce its battery costs. Based on the case study, in conjunction of production of the Ford car Model 3 sedan, Tesla needs the battery to manufacture the electric motors and gearbox of Model 3 sedan. The starting price of Model 3 is approximately $35,000 and it is the least expensive electric vehicle of Tesla company. This is partly because of the reduction of battery costs produced by the Gigafactory. Due to the cheaper price, it is nearly 375,000 of people have placed their order. And due to the high demand, the Gigafactory construction is moving at speed. Thus, the building of Gigafactory is a good decision and good timing of implementation in the production of Model 3. They do not have to buy the batteries from outside suppliers. Furthermore, the pro of building Gigafactory is the increase in financial condition in Gigafactory. Gigafactory is a one size fit or factory that could make anything Tesla cell battery, solar panel, home storage solution, and electric car. The scale of Gigafactory is expanded in the next two years due to the function of Gigafactory. The function of Gigafactory in the production of electric car. Model sedan, model three sedans, 
and would dedicate it to the new stationary energy storage business. Besides that, the lithium-ion battery has become the most important energy storage technology. It can also be used in many other applications such as cell phones, laptops, tablets, and other electronic devices. From the case study, we can know that the lithium-ion battery had a high growth from $21.3 million in 2014 to over $76 million in 2020 in the worldwide market. This shows that the demand for battery around the globe does not have intention to slow down. To meet the high demand of lithium-ion battery, the producing capacity of battery was growing speedily. The high demand consumption of battery may generate high sales and revenues. This will give rise to the increment in financial condition of Giga Factory. Next, the cons of building Giga Factory is the oversupply of lithium ion battery by other alternative battery technology. Based on the case study, the main production of Giga Factory is producing lithium ion battery. The usage of lithium ion battery in 2020 were adopted most by automotive and energy storage industry with 30% and 38% respectively which means that most of the battery were absorbed by Tesla electric vehicle and solar city. However, the increasing of the capacity of lithium-ion battery just for short-term needs. Some of the researchers are searching an alternative battery technology to replace, the, to replace with the lithium-ion battery. Not only for that, the fuel cells cell technology present superior range on gasoline power car, longer time period for energy storage, and superior storage capacity compared to lithium-ion battery. With other research, the supply of lithium-ion battery is over the demands of the market, although the demand will fulfill supply in the future. In a nutshell, the focusing of Elon Musk on lithium-ion battery will only let, the, let his company lose competitive in the future battery market and with oversupplies. Tesla need to prepare a warehouse to store their battery and suffer in high cost storage. Furthermore, the construction of Giga Factory will cause the financial of Tesla become more burdened. Due to the estimated $5 million of constructing fees, and in 2014, the operational loss and net loss was increased and the main funding of Giga Factory was came from Tesla Direct Invest with issued $2 million convertible debt and other fees was taken by other partners. This will increase the financial risk such as a high credit risk and operational risk. Lastly, the construction of Giga Factory will bring bad effect for the environment which is air and water pollutions during producing the lithium ion battery. Also, the chemical element and rubbish that produced by the battery factory is a hidden trouble with the factory will unethically settle this chemical rubbish to take care environment or not. Okay, these are all the pros and cons of construction for the largest factory, which is Giga Factory. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.